Woke us up, fire team. In the last episode, I went over my thoughts on the overall first two weeks of Halo Infinite's multiplayer game, but I left out my thoughts on the recent event called Fracture Tenrai. In this episode, we will discuss the event itself, things that I enjoyed in it, things that I did not, and elements that I wish they included. Let's start with the good. We got a new mode, Fiesta, which is a lot of fun and fair in leveling out people's skill levels. Some players are great with snipers, but might start off with two pistols. That gives other players that are good with their weapons an advantage, at least until they get taken down and their weapons get stolen by the snipers. So this is pretty cool. I like that the balancing here is really fair for the most part, and it's very random, and I like that. Uh, but there is a part of this mode that is negative, but we'll get to that later. Spawning with random weapons and no radar is just a fun challenge, and it made each round loads of fun. Another positive is that there's no battle pass to buy for Tenrai. It's a separate tier system that goes to level 30, and any XP that you earn from completing event-specific challenges levels you up in Tenrai, but also still helps your main progression to level 100 on the Battle Pass system. Lastly, on the complimentary side, I really like the armor. Based on the Japanese cavalry armor of the 19th century, this Yoroi-inspired Spartan armor and its accessories, shaders, nameplates, and emblems are very cool looking. But that leads us to what I feel are the negatives about this event. Starting with Fiesta Mode, it does kind of suck that random weapons isn't currently accessible in custom games. It works so well in Fiesta mode that I wish we could have some fun with it in custom games mode. That way we can add a few variations to it and go a few rounds with our friends with some tweaks. I think it's great, and I'm sad to see that it's not available when you're making custom games. The progression in this is very specific. Complete one of the seven Fiesta-only challenges for the week, and for each one you complete, you get a level up in the Tenrai 30-tier event. That part I don't mind because this event is returning for five more week-long events between January and April of 2022, leaving plenty of time and more than enough challenges to reach its level 30 goal. The issue is that the rewards for leveling up aren't very interesting. Very few armor and a lot more double XP and challenge swaps. And since I'm all cracked out on drinking Rockstar Energy drinks and eating Pringles, I'm not in the market for more double XP and swap chips. The lack of diverse rewards in the 30 level goal directs the players right to the shop where much cooler armor and shaders are for sale, both in weekly and daily bundles that feel a bit overpriced. I said it in my last video, I'm not against microtransactions at all, but the 700 to 800 credits daily bundles are just a bit too much for me considering what you get. Mostly you get a visor and a shader, and it's a shader that only works in your Yoroi armor and not any of your Mark armors. At least on the final day of the event, they offered a shader that can be worn by all three armor core types. Hopefully they bring this back when the event returns in January. And I also hope that bundles like this are reduced to 500 credits, as I just feel that to be a far more fair price for items like these. A 500 credit daily bundle and a 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 weekly bundle is just simpler and more streamlined. And any that come with shaders should work on all weapons, vehicles, or armor cores, in my opinion. My last bit of criticism is more of a wish and maybe I'm being unreasonable or asking for too much, but I'm going to ask anyway. 343, with all the Fracture events like Tenrai that are coming up, can we please get an in-game tutorial level that explains the world that these variant Spartans are coming from? For those who don't know, there is actually a story behind Fracture Tenrai. The Yoroi armored Spartans are from an alternate world, much like Marvel and DC's respective multiverses. I'm a big fan of this concept and would love to see a short level with a brief intro using an existing map where portals open and these warriors arrive. It could be added to the Academy as a feature the week of the event to help explain the storyline. Use an existing map, but maybe change some of the colors or signs to reflect the Tenrai universe as we run across the map taking down a few Yoroi armored Spartans before coming face to face with the two main armor sets advertised on the promo art. Like I said, it may sound like a lot, but it could make a fun single player addition for those of us who are into the story of Halo as much as we are the gameplay and the other features. Overall, Tenrai is fine. That's the best way I can describe the event so far. It definitely could be better, but whereas I feel the overall multiplayer isn't off to that bad of a start, I do feel Tenrai is off to a not-so-good recurring event. Which sucks, because after visiting the website and learning there was a story behind this event, and personally having a love for Japanese history and armor, I can only see the potential for future Tenrai editions, but I don't see 343 actually reaching that potential. I hope I'm wrong, and time will tell. Let me know what you liked and disliked about the Fracture Tenrai event down below, and also share what you would like to see added to future editions. What other styles of multiverse worlds would you like to see? I wouldn't object to seeing some Norse armor added in, especially since Cedrons in the Halo universe still believe in Valhalla. Maybe there is a multiverse where Randall 037 and the Cedrons took down Oni and are the Spartan-esque warriors of their world, fighting for glory and Valhalla while destroying Guardians and Cortana. 
Or how about a world where there are no Spartans at all, so the ODSTs were humanity's last saviors against the Covenant? Hey, a guy can dream, right? Thanks for watching and listening, Spartans. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. If you disliked it, tell me in the comments why, and let's have a conversation. Keep fighting, and I will see you in the future. Feet first, into hell.